welcome everyone in video number three of the player joining session tutorial on blueprint unreal 4 so in this video we are going to build the widget uh, used to travel through levels and to open a lobby so if you see the first uh, video i'm introducing a menu with several buttons that allow me to do whatever logic i want so if you're fam if you're not familiar with widgets, I strongly advise you to check it out first in several uh, in tutorials on the net or maybe to open it on your own and try your hands at it. I'm not going to be to enter much into details here because it's uh, outside of our scope, but uh, I uh, I will explain anyway what I do. So right now we're on the canvas panel and we need to have a vertical box that handle that contains not handle that contains our buttons why a box because a box automatically organize the things that are that that it contains so i'm going to say that i want my box to be scaled towards the center of my screen i want it to be actually at the center of my screen and i want it to be in the middle, so if I specified uh, 0.5 in both uh, X and Y axis, it will actually be centered of the screen because it's half its size in X and Y. So I want it to be actually larger because I want my player to be able to see what's going on. Okay, so we think that's big enough. And uh, in this uh, in this uh, menu, we want some buttons. So I think we need several several one and I, actually I'm not going to I'm not going to add several buttons just yet I'm going to duplicate this one that, that is going to be like our our template button so before I add text I wanted to show you guys what I do so I choose to search for text uh, widget component I found one and actually I, dr I can just drag and drop it on the button, it automatically it automatically goes on in it if you see in the hierarchy. So uh, that that that's all I need to do to create a title to this button. And uh, actually, I don't want this uh, this color. I want a, a a nice a nice blue to go with the the the, the, the our character. So I want uh, I want a brighter blue. Okay, uh, that's uh, I found the nice color. So I can just drag the, the color I just built here and drop it here and it's it's going to be saved for another use in uh, blueprint or for another color in widget or anywhere in the in the in the project so far so far as I know so I it okay we're good so we need uh, the button to fill so if I hit fill you see the button fills the entire box but we don't we, we are not going to have only one button we are going to have several of them so if they fill the box and we have two buttons they will be split in all the box so but we don't have only two we have several one actually i don't quite remember how many but we are going to to, to review the logic uh, any any anyway so s what are we going to do here we're going to rename our button but first the text is going it's the it's the more obvious thing so what do we want we want the player the server to be able to host a new lobby so we're going to say a hey, host lobby we want another button to be able to join the lobby and fi and also we want the player to be able to travel through different levels actually I, cr I created the exact right number of buttons quite well we want the players to be able to travel through travel to level 1 and travel to level 2 and finally I wanted to create a back button just to show you guys how a widget uh, screen inputs work I think we're good but we need to rename our our button so we can actually keep track of uh, what is going on in the blueprint logic of our widget so the first button it's going to be called us button 
host lobby I'm going to copy right this the second is going to be called join lobby travel to level 1 travel to level 2 obviously and uh, finally back button but uh, we're going to call it a button back anyway because we're kinda of uh, organized organized people so why are we, why are we renaming them because if you choose if you pick your button if you focus your button you're going to see a right uh, a small window here with a plus saying unclicked so we're going to click on the plus and it's uh, automatically automatically going to build a new event on we on our event graph so the event is called obviously when you click the button so we are going to be binding each one of these uh, buttons to events and I think we are going to be good for this widget um, because we don't want anything else in here uh, good thing uh, one one thing I want to do is to show you guys how to how to display this uh, actually display this uh, widget so we are going to need our per third person controller that we're going to open open full blueprint editor and uh, we're going to delete this one and also this one and uh, when are we going to create this menu I think on even begin play we're going to wait to add a delay of two seconds why why am I adding a delay because the client character is created after a short delay after some seconds some microseconds after the the, the server character and it might get uh, some uh, misreferences that we we can avoid using a small two seconds delay so after two seconds I want to check that I am on the server and I want the server to actually ask my client to create his to create his ad so I'm going to create a custom event that I'm going to call uh, player client create ad and I'm going to to say that uh, this event is running on client so that says hey guy I want uh, the server says hey client spawn the ad so because the server sometimes doesn't have an interface doesn't have a screen so if you create if you create your ad on the on the server logic it might get you some error and we don't want that so we're basically saying server call create ad on the client so, it, so we don't get any error so player create ad yep and what are we going to do we're going to say create widget Oop, get widget create widget so the widget we want is the one we just created travel menu and the thing that we are interested in here is the owning player what is the owning player it's basically what it's saying it's the player that is owning that is displaying the widget so he wants if you let your mouse on the little node it tells you what it wants what it ex what it expect to have here as a reference he needs a player controller reference and hopefully as you can see, uh, we build we, we are our logic uh, pretty well. We're already on a p third person controller, and a third person controller is a player controller. So we can just say, hey, the, the owning player is self, is us. So, yep, that's, that's good for that. And once you created it, you need to add it to viewport. Mm, excuse me, viewport. Add to viewport. So that basically adds our menu to the viewport. So if, if if we play, I believe we're going to see it. Yep. So we're seeing we're seeing it, but we can't. Uh, uh, we don't want it to be displayed uh, if the player doesn't open it. So we're going to say, hey, this widget is visibility is hidden. 
because uh, when the player will when the player will hit the menu input, it will get it visible. But uh, before it, we just want it to be hidden. And as you can see, we are not saving the menu in the variables, and that, that that's a problem because when the player is going to open the menu, how are we going to tell him to open this? We don't have a reference yet, so we need to create a reference. A new variable. We're going to call it player because it's a variable on the player. Player um, travel menu. Simple, pretty simple. Uh, we don't want this to be mm, public because we don't uh, actu actually have any other blueprint getting needing a reference to this variable. So it's not a boolean, of course. It's a menu. It's a travel menu, exactly. And here we're gonna have a little trick because I'm going to show you. I'm going to set so alt drag to set and control drag to get basic 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 hot keys. So if we drag this pin, we can pin it. Uh, actually, we can. Uh, why why can't we? why can we? Maybe that's something that just uh, that just been uh, updated in the 4.7. Uh, before in the previous versions of Unreal, we had to cast this, but uh, now actually we can just uh, say, hey, this is your travel menu. Because he, in the previous version, he didn't know what type of widget to return here, so we could we could then say, hey guy, uh, this is a, a, a travel menu. Now we can, it, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to remove this reference. I'm going to say, hey, that's the travel menu to add to viewport, and the, that's the travel menu we want uh, to target. And if you if you don't want your 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 links to be kind of uh, overlapping with each other, you can uh, you can create actually what is a reroute node, and we can create two of them to have a pretty nice layout. Okay, so. Yep, I'm going to save. I'm going to make sure if I hit play and don't have a, a menu spawning. <laughs> Actually, we to to check it out that uh, it's working when uh, it, nothing is happening. But actually, I think it's good. So if we say player, it it's play. So uh, actually, we're going we're not going to do it that way. We're going to say hey, in the project settings, you have something called input. And you can say, and you can say, I want an action, a new action mappings. So it, this is, these are the inputs of the players. So you can say, hey, you have a me, uh, open menu input, and it's called when you press P. Uh, actually, the, the the key P, the the, the P key. So I'm going to just search for it. So P right there it's automatically saving uh, every every when you make a change so up. i'm kind of a of a save man uh, a save madman so i always hit control s any anyway so once you created your in your new input you can just say in the person controller menu search for menu and it says hey action event open menu because it knows you just created a new input that's why unreal unreal 4 is so amazing so when you hit open menu, you can say, hey, I press the menu, so I want the travel menu visibility to be visible. So that should work if I hit play and say, hey, I want my menu to be visible. But if I hit play again, yeah, nothing happened, obviously, because we don't set it, we didn't set up yet. But I just wanted to make sure it works. So when I hit pressed, I want to get the travel menu. I want to check what visibility it has. So I can say get visibility. I want to check what visibility is. So here, I, I don't know what byte are. I don't know what these are. But I know that visibility is an enum. And I know that if I check, if, if I say enum, it will say, "Hey, visibility can be vi can be visible, can be collapsed, can be uh, hidden, can be any anything." So, but I just want visible right now. So I want to say, when you press when the when you press the open menu, if the so sorry we've been cut, but I was saying here we want to say if the player press open menu, 
we want to check what visibility, what is the current visibility of player travel menu. And basically, if it's, vid if it's visible, we want it to be hidden. And if it's not visible, it should be hidden then, we want it to be visible. And that should simply do the trick. If we hit play, when I hit P, it's open up, when I hit P, it, it closes. But uh, we don't have uh, our mask mouse cursor just yet, so that's what I wanted to show you guys at the fr at the beginning of the video. That's what I want. Uh, uh, that's the little thing uh, I wanted to add about widget. So you can say when when you're co closing it, you can say game input. So set input mod game only. So that's say <coughs> excuse me. That ba that's basically saying, hey guy, I want your I want the player controller to only listen to game inputs. That means only listen to anything that is on this blueprint and nothing, no inputs on any widget whatsoever. So I, it's it's asking for a target, so it needs a player controller reference because it, it needs a a player controller to be targeted by this. So we're just saying this because this is a player controller once again. So in the visibility. In the in the when we are setting this visible, we want uh, the player travel menu to be the new focus of our player. So we want to say set input mod to UI only. If you say game and UI, you're going to have both these the inputs on the controller and the inputs on the UI, the, so the widget. But we we don't want that. We want the UI only uh, input. So yep, we are going to connect this and this. It is going, is asking for a target. So it's like a, like a input game mode. That's the player controller he wants to be setting the input mode in. So and we also want to show mouse cursor because as you saw previously when I when I hit play, we don't have any mouse cursor and we don't want that. We want to see our cursor. So I'm going to just save real quick, hit play, and say, hey, I want the menu to open. Yeah, just fine. And you see my mouse cursor just went in, and I can, ah, and here we have, I, as I told you, if you listen to my logic, YP is not working, because I'm going to, it's, uh, I'm going to close this, because I told you, if you say inputs, mod UI only, it's not listening to any inputs on this blueprint, so it stopped listening to this input, and we can't close the menu. So we actually we don't want that, we, we want input mod game and UI. And that way, that is going to listen to our P key, once to our menu input, sorry, once we hit play. So I guess it's going to be good. So our, mer our our cursor mouse appears, and it doesn't disappear. Don't know why. I think that may be related to the input game mode. So we are going to check it out real quick. Oh, because I just forgot to say no. I don't want my mouse cursor to be revealed. So it play. It p. Mouse cursor went in. It p. And no mouse cursor. And one one error you might get is if you hit play and spam P right away and goes I I and closes it, you're going to have a, an, an error. That's not that that that's because you have a delay at the the beginning of the game, saying hey, for two seconds you do nothing. So for two seconds this this variable has no value. So you're basically saying hey. This is visible? No, this doesn't even exist. So it, it, it's telling you there's an error. So I think that's all for this video. We're going to set up the logic in another one because I think that's long enough. And uh, we don't want video to be too long. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, because I do. I really do. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.